ओके मी यू आई प्रो इज हेयर द लेटेस्ट वर्जन मी यू आई प्रो ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव बेस ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट वन जीरो टू वन वीकली अपडेट इज हेयर फॉर द रेड बी नोट एट यूजर्स इफ यू इंस्टॉल इट यू कैन आई एम गोइंग शिव दू सम कूल एंड इंटरेस्टिंग फीचर्स विच यू गेट इन दिस मी यू आई प्रो एडिशन कस्टम रूम फॉर द रेड बी नोट एट यूजर्स इट माइट बी अवेलेबल फॉर सम अदर डिवाइस इज ऑल्सो बट वी हैव इट अवेलेबल फॉर रेड मी नोट एट इट्स बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉइड इलेवन ऑफ कॉर्स बट द थिंग इज लिट विट ओल्ड सिक्योरिटी पैच इज देयर फर्स्ट ऑफ मे टू by with that does not matters a lot so yes no worry you can simply install it i'm going to show you some cool and interesting features that you get in this mi ui pro room so stay tuned for that first of all let's move on to the default home screen you can easily see we have the widgets placed on the home screen which means it has a new widget store available for you this is something quite good by the way and you can see the icons have shadows and yes you can customize these things by the way if you ever used mi ui pro in your life in your device you might already know that mi ui pro has some pro features for you For example if we move on to this widget store if we click this latest launcher widget option you have the widget store available for you and you can add these widgets on your home screen and this looks quite good i think so this is quite impressive as i'm using for some time by the way this is mi ui so just don't expect much things from this in the terms of performance and else things everyone knows how mi ui performs but except that if you move on to the customization section feature section this includes very very cool features you already saw this widget so of course all the new features are already included like mi ui enhanced features are already there new widget store is there it also has a new battery related things and everything which you want in a device for example if you want to place any widget on the home screen i can easily place it anywhere on the home screen looks quite good but i tried this widget store in other devices and other customer homes it was not working but in this mi ui pro it's working fine also let me show you this app opening and app closing animation of course it's mi ui as i previously mentioned you so don't expect much things but it's still quite better it's not that bad and you can simply use it on a device i think so but yes if you want to if you want to use the device as performance based customer room, looking for performance based customer room, this is not like that also it comes with some customizations in even the dialer pad you can customize the maximum brightness minimum brightness if you want to you can customize the colors and the dialer pad if you want to you don't need any kind of theme for that custom theme for that you can even customize the buttons the show speaker and keyboard keypad replace notes with messages hide contacts add call etc whatever you want to enable whatever you want to disable you can everything is there to customize this looks better and of course i don't think so you get this customizations in other mi ui based custom homes for now right now mi ui pro is one of them now in the terms of other options for example wallpapers and personalization section where you get super wallpapers of course these are included but not recommended it also comes with two mi ui pro wallpapers for you like mi ui pro 12.5 two wallpapers which were expected are already included there which looks quite good decent enough i don't use these wallpapers very much by the way i have other options available for you a lot of wallpapers are available and i made some set of videos set up i have some setups available on telegram channel so make sure to check out that other options is extra basically same display etc has some basic features like list animation which is a very useful feature by the way some use i use this list animation with by android 5.0 android 6.0 now it's android 11 it has the gestures anywhere option which is one of my favorite ones and i made a video specifically on this thing this feature of mi ui pro some time ago so you can check it out gestures are quite useful if you want to try it out you can it's just up to you now in the terms of sound and vibration don't get basic options you don't get some extra customizations but in notifications and control center you have some options for notification shade in customize notification style to mi ui or android whatever you want to use and including that if you move to control center style here let me show the by default this is the normal by default control center you get in the global devices of course let me show you by opening into turn on the player which means you'll see the mi ui 13 media controller like this you'll be able to enable this if you don't want this you can disable this if you want this you can enable this that's quite better and you can simply enable or disable the cards which means if you want the data tile at the top at top left the bigger tile if you want this you can enable this if you don't want this you can disable this so everything is there for you to customize which is actually quite useful and some other customizations are of course their icons and icon style and notification shade etc a lot of things you can customize security battery everything has the mi ui 12.5 enhanced features available for you If you want to install this build, you can. I will try to provide the link in the description for Redmi Note 8 users. Install from Custom Recovery. You are good to go. This is all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 